Good morning, everyone. It is morning. In a while. Right now, can I see? It's 10:07 a.m. on Thursday, November 16, 2023. Time flow. Now for today's announcements. Did you know that Kinesi is home to a new campsite? The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Kinesi. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread the island charm. <laughs> and of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested. <laughs> okay. <sighs> it's been a while. Oh my. Oh my god, do I have a lot to say or talk about? Well, not much, to be honest with you, but. Things are- things have been on my mind. <laughs> Happy Home Academy, KK Lovers, rank A, not too bad. Get rid of that. Well, at least the good news is that, um, for those of you who need to catch up on, um, these, uh, works or these Let's Plays, uh, Animal Crossing series, well, uh, now you can. <laughs> Metro Stereo. Yeah, it's been a while, and I don't know. Is it is this something that's worth apologizing for? Maybe. Um, but either way, I apologize. <laughs> um, because yeah, I I'm trying to, or at least I tried, or I'm I'm still trying to put some kind of effort into, um, playing Animal Crossing or. Um, forget about doing it daily, at least do it more often, you know, because... Good lord, did I totally, like, drop the ball and all that. But you know what? It's whatever. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna continue on. Paper lantern? Ooh, what that's like. We do want to make some room. Uh, let's just do that. Let's just continue making some room. Um, alright, I think that's good enough. I have a bunch of furniture out. Keep that big teddy bear back there. Alright, retro stereo. Ooh, that's nice. We do have KK Lovers. Definitely one of my favorites. One of my many favorites. So good. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. So we we completed the campsite. I know it's been several days, if not, it's been a week or a little bit more than a week. Um, I've been basically on a kind of a emotional roller coaster. You know, I guess I could say a little bit of depression has gotten me, a little bit of, you know, anger, uh, being a little bit annoyed here and there by people. <laughs> But, you know, that's just how things are, um, and by the way, I'm gonna be changing this flag in a bit, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now, or I'm gonna do it in an another episode, but I'll probably do this sometime in the future, I could probably do it today, uh, yeah, okay. So, I don't really feel like holding a ceremony, to be honest with you, I kinda wanna move on to something different, or what whatever's next. Ah, oh, Candice, hello, hello. Our campsite is very impressive. I'm ready to get inqu inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. And it won't be long until we start getting some guests. When we have a guest, the tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet. 
What we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of our life, of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding plants with flowers, place some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Okay, so let's go to the terminal real quick. I don't know if we have enough money to purchase another, um, <clears throat> enough bells to purchase another song. I need to take a look. Let's just take a look at the ABD real quick. 20,000. Okay, we do. Uh, no shopping. What do we have here? KK Lovers again? Oh, wow. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Sign off and talk to Tom Nook. Tom Nook. This is the construction constellation counter. Uh, what should I do? Keep an eye on our campsite where there's a tent, there's bound to be a visitor. And when you see a visitor, be a good host and work on that famous Canis charm. So, just be weird, lewd, and, I don't know, slutty with them, or...? <laughs> I guess so. So yeah, um, I guess I could talk about the reason why I've been absent for some time. It's been really hard to keep- oh my god, look at the trees. Wow. Everything totally has changed. Good, good. So yeah, um, the main reason why I have been away is due to the fact that there are people um, in my house, or not my house, but in my family's house. And they are doing construction. They're renovating, um, while well, renovating. They're renovating the bathroom, and as you've seen in the previous episode, or an episode before that, Edna, my lovely doggy, who I have an Instagram for, and I'm gonna make like a little PSA. Um, or a public announcement. <laughs> on this channel saying that hey guys go follow my go follow my dog go follow my doggy she's i have an instagram for her she has her own insta go check it out and i'm gonna be posting uh you know the link to her instagram on every uh video so basically i'm growing you know uh the description of these videos links and stuff like that nice uh, this maple leaf is pretty rad. Pretty red. Why did I say rad? It's like the exact color of fall. It is. So yeah, she was barking up a storm. She was barking up so much. Barking up a lot. And I really didn't like that, but at the same time, I just did my best to, like, continue on because, um, you know, I've already started and I don't want to... I didn't want to stop. I wanted to really commit to it. So why didn't I continue to commit after, you know, making more episodes? Well, it, it was like constant, constant barking because, again, she detects, smells, realizes there's people that are not family. And when there are people that are not family, she, you know, like any dog would, wants to scare them. <laughs> nice. She wants to scare them away, shoosh them away, bark them away. Wants to um, make them go away, so that way... It, it's basically her way... <laughs> I'm saying way a lot. Uh, do you know the way? Uh, this is the way. <laughs> I'm being so awkward. But anyways... <laughs> it's her way of saying... Oh no, it's her way of protecting us. It's her way to show that, you know, she's trying to protect us. It's just, you know, one of her many love languages. You know, one of her many ways of her saying that she cares about us and wants us to be safe. And, and you know, that's basically how a lot of dogs are. And dogs in general are very loyal, uh, very loyal creatures. It's why we get, it's, it's why we have this comment or this saying that 
you know, us humans don't deserve dogs because of their their company, their loyalty, their their compassion towards you know us. <laughs> you know, they're very like ride or die uh, kinds of creatures, and that's what makes dogs so amazing. And for sure, cats to an extent, they are very much that way too. Just they're just different. You know, they're not lesser or greater, they're just different. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the whole reason why... Well, one of the major reasons why I haven't been uploading any videos is because... I was like, you know what? So much going on, I'm getting stressed out with... Not because of her barking so much, but because of like a lot of... Family drama over for just... You know, the, the bathroom being renovated. The, um, and keep in mind, um, the house that I live in, there's two bathrooms. There's the bathroom in the back area of the house and the front area of the house. And my parents and my brother and I, we um, use the front area, the front bathroom, and my grandparents have a smaller bathroom that they use. And since um, they're getting older, and my grandfather um, doesn't isn't really that mobile anymore. He doesn't really move as much. And when he does, he's just really shuffling his feet, or he's really just dragging his feet when he moves. So he's not making like strides or stepping, you know, normal steps. Um. So we need to like kind of be aware of of that fact, and because of that, uh, we've decided, or my grandmother specifically has decided to um, want to renovate the bathroom just to make it a little bit more safe for my grandfather, so he won't trip or fall or slip or, or fall. And um, you know, we we're trying to like. We're trying to prevent things, from, prevent bad things from happening. We're trying to prevent injuries. You know? Um, so we're really being proactive rather than reactive, right? So yeah, that's basically the whole reason why I was absent. I was just dealing with some like stress. Um, I didn't really have it in me to create any content. Um, just, that's just, even if I'm trying to make this like a, an actual thing, <laughs> I want to be in the good frame of mind because I just want to like, I want to put out content that's good, right? I want to put out videos that are great and I don't want to have like a shitty or crappy moody attitude, you know? I want to keep that behind, but I'm not going to shy away of, you know, discussing some, some things like this. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. You know, I, I could do, I could be a little better, but you know what? I'm fine. You know, you don't really have much to worry about. So overall, like with these things, I try to look after myself the best I can. And I don't want to burden anybody. Um, because like, I know what, I know what that's like. You know, there are people out there that do need help. And they do come for, come to me for help, and I try my best to help them. And um, I'm hoping these videos are one avenue of a way to help you um, feel more relaxed. You know, feel like you're de stress You know, just a way of de-stressing. You know, help you cope with whatever you're going through, or help you um, relax. Because like. When I come across people that constantly come to me with the same problem and I give them like various different solutions to the point where I have no no more solutions to give. And I can only give so much sympathy. It, it's just, okay, bro, like, are you really, you know, trying to help yourself? Because I'm trying to help you. And if you're not going to take the time to help yourself while I'm trying to help you, I'm kind of just wasting my time and my energy and it really does bother me because I, I wish for them to be in a better place, you know, mentally and physically. 
and I only, you know, anybody really has only so much power that they could do to help others out. You know, it's also really up to you to help yourself out. And I could be in any way as long as it's safe and legal, of course. Um... Oh, I haven't donated the goldfish yet, have I? Huh. I could have sworn that I did. Oh well. Um, we're gonna... See if we can get ourselves a goldfish. But yeah, um... That's the most important. It's not the fact that others are trying to help you. You both need to... You gotta let them if you... You know, it bas it's pride. It's... You know, really challenge your, challenging, challenging yourself against your ego. You know, it's taking on your e your inner ego and your, your sense of pride. Letting go of letting go of that, so that way people can help you. You could hear them out, and not only that, you could also then help yourself. And believe me, I have an ego. It's pretty big. Even me saying that I have an ego is very egotistical. <laughs> but it's also good to acknowledge it so that way you know where you yourself are coming from and where you're at. You know, mentally. And you could better help yourself. It's like, okay, I seem to have a big ego and this is what others are telling me. It's more than one person and they seem to be genuine. You know, they're friends that I trust. And there are friends that, you know, will tell me really what's going on. Like, they will be honest with me. Good. So, I need to do like some kind of ego check, and how would one go about that? It's, I guess one would be being humble. It would be, um, uh, really trying to think about, you know, things in a different perspective. Like, really think about you know, things in, like, the other person's perspective. So, it's more like, okay, so how would this other person feel if I, you know, X, Y, and Z? Um, how would, uh, this person feel if I did this or said that? You know, really, like, having an extra step of thinking, critical thinking, in order to, um, uh, do I wanna... Nah. It's fine. <sighs> I don't even know why I came in here. <laughs> so it's kind of letting go, you know, some pride and ego. And thinking about things in a different perspective. Another is... Being able to take criticism, even if it hurts. And it's very, it, it's like an inner struggle. It's like, oh man, I really don't want to hear it. You know, oh, they don't know any better. Oh, they, um, they don't understand, you know, my point of view. Well, even if they don't, at least hear them out. And, uh, don't, you know, try not to be rude about it. <laughs> and how to do that is simply just saying, okay, cool. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate, you know, your criticism. Um, I, I appreciate, uh, um, you know, what, what you're trying to help me with or kind of value you, you're trying to give to me. Like, I could understand, you know, you may already know what needs to be said. Um, you already know, you know, some information that they're just repeating to you and, you know, advice could be just unsolicited, advice could be... You know, things that you've, like, already know. And it could be really annoying. But sometimes it's best to just kind of hold off and be like, you know, thank you. <laughs> or thanks for the help. Here goes my doggy. The so hardwood, iron nugget, flimsy shovel. Okay. Oh, I already have a shovel. Wait, so what do I need to make? Is it the... I think it's the fishing rod. 
Air nugget, flimsy fishing rod. I think I need sticks for that. Do I have sticks? I do. Yeah, so right now Edna is barking up a storm again. And I just have to let her, you know, just... You know, just be okay with it. And it's really difficult. <laughs> But still, I, I love her, you know. <laughs> she's a, she's really she really is a good girl. She really is. And um I don't say that because um you know it's it's something nice to say to uh doggy to uh to Edna but or about Edna. It's more of just like genuinely like she's not that much trouble overall like she'll kind of whine a bit or she, when she whines a bit it really just means that she wants to go outside and take in the sun or needs to do her business if she doesn't want to do it indoors in the restroom because we have like a pee pad for her um <laughs> let's see let's let's craft Made a fishing rod. What is it that I need again? It's uh. Ooh, there's a present. That's right. I didn't even open it. Ooh, ten thousand bells. Nice. Okay, so no, I don't want to look at the DIY. Let's look at the Craterpedia. Oh, wait, I did put the Ranchy Goldfish in the museum. I don't think I'm missing anything. No, I'm not. Okay. So I think we're doing good so far. Um, there's still like a lot of um, bugs that we need to catch. But we'll get there. Yeah, everything's in the museum. Alright. Um, what I do want to do is actually go out into the ocean. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so I do want to go out into the ocean and... Um... Oh my goodness, Edna is really barking. But that's, ma that's mainly because uh, the people who are here that are renovating the restroom or the bathroom, I should say. Uh, yeah, they're they're still here. <laughs> so Edna is really just, you know, telling them to like go away. Put the hourglass away. People leaves, put those away. Do want to get a new a new shirt? All right, put this in. Let's put this in storage. Put this in storage. All right. Um. And I guess the rest we could like turn into the museum and sell. As I was making Edna's account on Instagram, and I don't know, if I get like more- if I get enough popularity... <laughs> funny thing to say. Uh, ooh. I'm probably gonna make her a Twitter account too, like a... You know, to make it seem like she's the one tweeting. <laughs> I think that'd be really cute. Like, I think that'd be really funny too, I like that. You know, I, I want to do it if there's like... A, a following. Oh man. 
So the fall looks really beautiful. It, it looks really nice. There you go, blathers. <laughs> okay, so I want to assess fossils. Um, these three, of course. Yeah, more than one. Okay, so there's something that is new. So that's good. Mm, okay, we can make a donation. Two things. Good. Not bad. Alright. But yeah, I figured, you know what? It's been a while since I haven't made a video or I haven't, you know, kept up with Animal Crossing. I really need to and I want to as it's funny enough it's actually affecting my mental health if I don't I don't know if anyone else is like this I'm sure some of you guys are like this if I don't if we don't work on something that brings us value and brings other people value you know it, it gives us like this sense of like lack of purpose like we have no purpose and that's one of the major causes, in my opinion, for uh, anxiety and depression. One of. And I wouldn't say it's a cure, but a mitigation to ease, you know, those two burdens is simply to just do things that bring value to your life. Create things, you know, work on things. Do work as in that, you know, you're, you're proud of and you that gives you something, you know, in return. Did you say Candace? I'm happy with that name. Oh yes, and I'm Leaf. Leaf! I heard that my good pal Timmy moved out here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. That was... Uh, what a happy adventure. Right, this is probably our first time meeting Leaf. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived, yes. The island itself is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like, with whatever plants you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds, drums, and produce starts. Produce starts I brought will be featured in your masterpiece. Anyway, meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, of course. Okay, so let's go sell and then we'll go back to Leaf in a moment. And I do want to catch all these, uh, um, you know, maple leaves. Because, uh, they could become very useful for DIY. That's the thing, it's like, I, I need to and I both want to be with her, so, you know, so that way I could just like hang out around, um, the living room or outside and let her, you know, take in the sun outside. Um... Let's see, Pitfall, Vaulting Pole. Not much interest, I'm not really interested in much right now. I'll just, uh, sell. Alright, I'm gonna sell some stuff. I want to sell... Oh my god, I have a bunch of carps. Creation carp. Bitterling. I'm gonna make some decent money. Yeah.
Not bad. I'll take 7,000. I mean, I don't have any other choice, but I'm good with it. I only have so much furniture. <laughs> I can only take so much is what I'm trying to say. I can only take so much furniture because of uh, my home is so small. My home is tiny. Oh my god, that freaked me out. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay. Let's go talk to Leaf. Um, I'm here to shop. Okay. Ooh, wheat start. Um, so basically what Leaf is trying to say is that you plant them, they grow, but once you plant them, it's best to water them. So therefore, you get more out of, um, you know, what you're growing, rather than just like, what, one? So I'll buy them in bulk, uh, I'll buy 10 of them. And I'll just only place 9. I'll have, like, I'll have like a little gardening area. Okay, um, the holy start. The holy start. I like these. Plus, um, these are perfect because what's crazy too is that these berries are poisonous, but yet they're highly used and, um, recognized as like a, they're recognized as like a festive, um, um, plant. A festive plant, festive, um, bush, festive, um, berry. It's in season, yeah. Well, I could at least get started in, you know, the call Christmas aspect while still, you know, keeping, fo keeping focus on, um, Thanksgiving. So yeah, I think I'm gonna plant a couple um, all around. Maybe I could take a look at some new flowers to plant. Um, it's a little ashamed though that there's no pumpkins. I would have been buying a lot more pumpkins. White lily, red lily, yellow lily, and tulips. Uh, sure, let's buy them. So I'll take them in bulk. I'll take five each. So I'll take a bulk each of every uh, flower that Leaf is selling. <clears throat> and then we'll plant them. I'll take five. So yeah, bear with me. This transaction period, um, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit. Ah, my goodness. So. I noticed that some of you guys have been really interested in, or really liked, the, the last meme react, or the latest meme react that I did, um, at the time that I'm, you know, here. Um, and, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing more. I have yet to work on the next one, and I should be doing that very, very soon. 
It's just that I've been on like a, you know, a mental down period, but I seem to be slowly, you know, trying to get out of it. Or slowly getting out of it. So, um... <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to be working on the next uh, Meme React. Because they're really fun, you know? They're really fun to make, especially because I'm using my um, laptop, my MacBook. My MacBook with... Oh, my MacBook Air with the M1 chip. So good. You know? It's so good. I don't need... I don't need any other laptop. You know? Like, we're already at the biggest and greatest and latest um, lap, uh, MacBook, laptop, what have you, you know? But I don't... I'm still with the M1. For those of you that are Apple nerds out there, um... Yeah, I don't need any other... I don't need any other MacBook. And, not, and I'm not just saying that because I can't afford it either. As much as I would like a... Like a M3 Pro or whatever. Um... Honestly, I'm really happy with what I have. So it makes... it makes editing... So much smoother. You know, it makes, um... Work. Um, you know, working on, uh, images, so like, uh, Photoshop, for example, so much better. And yeah, I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy editing on my MacBook. And the thing is, if you, if you, uh, set up the Finder to have it work for you, you know, like, uh, having spots where, um, you can easily find things, easily find, uh, easily find, hold on, red tool up. That's, let's mix them up a bit. So that way we have a higher chance of breeding them. I do have to really control these flowers because I have noticed that um, <laughs> they, uh, they're going to be growing out of control because, you know, it, when it rains or snows, they'll be, uh, it's going to be a problem. You know, there's going to be a, a, an abundance more flowers. But it's not necessarily a bad thing either. It's just a little annoying. <laughs> But yeah, going back to uh, my MacBook, it, I don't think I need any other laptop. It, It's great. I, I'm really, really happy with it. I just wish that um, I had more storage, you know, so that way I could work more, do more with my videos. But it's fine. I'm just being very cautious of storage and, you know, I am paying a little bit with, uh, um, what's it called, uh, iCloud, and iCloud is really great, by the way, it's so good, no, I'm really happy with iCloud, because, um, not only do I, like, record videos of Edna, I could literally just, like, go to my, um, photos and just, like, you know, dump, um, a bunch of video files from my photos to, um, you know, my MacBook. And I could just start editing on DaVinci Pro. And I think Apple has their own editing software, but it's really expensive. And DaVinci, um, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, did I say DaVinci Pro? I meant DaVinci Resolve. Or Resolve DaVinci, I don't know. <laughs> that editing software, it's... It's free, pretty much free, or, you know, and it really does get the job done really, really well. And it's nothing basic like, you know, fucking Microsoft Movie Maker. <laughs> it's a really, really good editing program. So if anybody is interested in, um, if anyone is interested in video making or video editing, 
spellmaking, I highly recommend um, DaVinci Resolve. And I don't know. I'm planning on maybe someday, one day, when I get the monies to pay for it, you know? Because they, they've definitely earned it. They've definitely earned um, uh, my money based on all the time and all that time that I put in. You know, ed editing videos. Yeah. Who knows? Um, I'll probably use both um, because part of me does wants does want to stick to just like you know using all Apple products for music and video editing. Even though I'm very much used to using Ableton Live as my music production software, my digital audio workstation. You know, um, using it's okay to use other programs and softwares. It's good to actually explore, you know, and it's kind of fun too because it keeps things a little fresh. You know, for you or for me or for anybody that uses, you know, video and audio uh, making and editing software. I'm basically just like planting these at random, you know, make it more, uh, I I'm guessing making the, the island feel more, na a little bit more natural, what I'm trying to do. one here. There you go. Oh, we could place one here. That would be a good spot. Or two. Or we could place one here. There we go. So I think we're good for now. Um, I'm gonna explore the ocean a bit so that way I could see if I could get any more, you know, um, deep sea creatures. So we're gonna take a look at that. Oh, wait. There's a loon. Damn. Ah. Wall. Oh, I need to take a look at that. Ooh, I need to take a look. Recipes. Um, <gasps> that's so pretty. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, where are this? Honestly, this is my favorite um wetsuit. I don't. I feel like I don't need any other wetsuit. This is so good. Like, I really do like the, um, new leaf. No, not new leaf. The Nook Ink, um, leaf. The logo design and the color. It's so good. Ooh, a scallop. We're gonna get some DIY or something, or... I know we're gonna get a pearl. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure, here you go. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. I mean, the cool thing too is that I've already... have a scallop in the... Museum, so I don't have to worry about like not giving it to him. Since you were so cool, I left you something you'll dig. Tell him 
While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Excuse me. Feel this. Folks are always seeing in clouds what they want to see. But someday they're gonna miss seeing the storm. Huh? Folks are always seeing in clouds what they want to see. Uh huh. But someday they're gonna miss seeing. But someday they're gonna miss seeing the storm. I'm not understanding this, but I'm just a dumb wolf boy, so I don't know. <laughs> Wrap your noodle around that. I'm trying. <laughs> yep, today is a good day. Ah, uh, Pascal, I love him. I think you got that name right. All right, let's continue. Let's uh, take a look for some deep sea creatures. See what we got. Hopefully, you get something new. Another scallop. At least every time I get a scallop, um, I get a pearl from it, and that could probably help me get um. In DIY or make DIY uh, items. Oh my. Ew. Is that seaweed? Seaweed. So creepy, so disgusting. <laughs> I got some seaweed. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> He's still swimming. Look at him. He's so cute. He's just swimming along like a cute little otter boy. He is. Oh, <laughs> I love him. I want a plushie of him. I really do. I really want to like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fem femboy in me or the feminine side of me that just like wants to have, like, a bunch of plushies. Like, a little collection of plushies. I don't know, is it really feminine? I don't really think it's all that feminine. I think it's just, like... Nah, I think it's just something if you're interested in, cool. You don't really have to tie gender into everything. It's dumb. Yeah, so... Or seaweed. Close to the island now. Alright, what do we have? What do we have here? Oh. There we go. Ooh. A sea cucumber. It's a bit cumbersome. <laughs> That's awesome. Ten discoveries so far. Seaweed, sea cucumber. We already have an octopus. So that's just two. We have two new things we could add to the library. Two new creatures. So I don't know if, I don't know if, um, the creatures are at random at any day, any time, or their specific day and time to get certain creatures. I think it's specific time and day, um, to get sea creatures. Just like how it is for, um, What was it? Bugs and fish. <gasps> What's this? Ooh, a turban shell. It's totally turbular. 
I love the puns, they're so cute. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit more. We're gonna turn these into the museum. Star, okay. I don't even know if, like, it depends on the area too, on where um, you get these sea creatures. Like, there may be some rare sea creatures that, you know, I that are very specific to get the time of day. You know, the, the, the season, the location. But the good news is that we got a couple new um, sea creatures, so that's good. <laughs> I do apologize, though, for my... My lovely Edna just barking up so much. You know, I definitely really need to make like a, a video about her or for her. You know, like a little, like a cute little music video. Um, speaking of, I have actually started to dabble a little bit back into music production. And it's it's been a while since I've done that, and honestly, I... It's kind of like riding a bicycle, you know? I've... I'm not really that rusty. Uh, I already know what to do, know what's going on. If anything, I probably... Have a sharper mind. This is new? It is new! The sea slug. It's kind of salty about that. It's funny. Um, let's go, let's keep going over here. What do we have? Sea cucumber, okay. Let's keep going. A little bit more, just a little bit more. Anemone. Sea anemone. I, I know that it's a little hard to pronounce anemone. Um, I don't even know if I'm doing it right or saying it right, but I feel like it's. I feel like I am. I think I am. <laughs> Ooh, DIY. Actually, this is perfect that I stumbled upon this. You know? Whoever found this, uh, Mercy. Or Sai, I don't know. Last night, I couldn't sleep, uh, a wink. As just, as I just laid there, start staring at the moon. Bam, this recipe hit me. You can't do great things with this recipe if you follow it to a team. No, bring my genius to life. Log stakes, I... I already know that, what, why? <laughs> so dumb. Get this net. Get the maple. Maple leaf. Alright, so we are going to donate these items, or not items, but we're going to donate these sea creatures to the museum. Continue to develop. And I think once you hit like a certain limit, or threshold, I should say, then blathers will start to 
want to have a cafe. Um, so this is where we, you know, would get the roofs. Uh, make a donation, yes. Oh, I want to donate all this stuff. I think that's it. Four things that are new. And we have two sea cucumbers and one seaweed. Sounds about right. Perfect. No need to pull them all out. Um, okay, so... I think we're good. Okay. So, um, I think that's gonna... I think that's gonna be it for me today. I, Edna has been barking so much as of late, and... Yeah, it's really... <laughs> It's really uh, ruining my concentration right now. So let's take a quick look at what we have. Okay. Slowly filling up, ever so slowly. All right, guys. Um, seems like that's gonna be it for me today. Um, of course, Edna is, <laughs> you know, she needs me, and I'm gonna go be there for her for a bit, and I'm gonna be, you know. Uh, well, working on some stuff too. Some exciting stuff. And it's gonna be awesome. But yeah, uh, I really do hope you guys uh, have a good day, have a good night. As always, be kind to yourself if you're having a rough time. Just know that these videos and myself are here for you. You know, it's very difficult to love yourself, but keep trying. Because it's worth it. It's definitely worth it in the end. Okay? But yeah. Um, have a good one. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next video.